This is Dr. Gill from Boatland. What is that? It's horizontal. It is a da -da -da. also be a power uh, the water pump uh, cover. Yeah, there we go. Uh, today's interesting thing is re-engineering the alternator mount. One of the things was was that the alternator was mounted farther down on the block, but since uh, there was not a marine alternator on here before. I got a new marine alternator with the cap on the back and it couldn't swing to where it was so I'm going to have to move it from this bolt hanging up to this one. What that then means is that there's some bushings that go here is that uh, you know the front to back thing on the, the pulley is a little bit wonky so I need to I got some big bushings here that need 3 16 of an inch taken off. Uh, the other deal is intake manifold is on there. It uh, went on pretty nicely. They uh, did recommend that you just put a bead of silicone through here, but the thing was sitting up. There was a quarter inch between there, so it just wasn't happening. So I had to put a bead of silicone uh, underneath it, and then luckily I had the chunk of uh, you know, rubber strippy guys from the gasket sets, although I did not put the turkey pan in. Um, it just was a little bit beyond my uh, technology to, to handle that today. So we'll see how this one goes. Since the thing is jet hot coated, I figured that the it doesn't it's not um, not as susceptible to the porosity of the oil, oil migration through everything. It's really nicely sealed up. Well, actually, it worked out pretty good. And there we go. Here. So I'll have to do a little bit of uh, wiring routing here because it's the yeah, look at this rat's nest. You know, I'm gonna have to deal with that one of these days, but. Uh, at least I can get this thing. Yeah, look at this. Don't you, don't you love stuff like this? Yeah, it's just really great. Uh, here's one of the custom by crash things here. See, we got the this guy. Okay, that goes through there. Then it goes down to here, and there's like wires coming out of the bottom of it. And this thing, you know, yeah. See that. <laughs> wires out of the bottom of this guy that's 12 volts and ground and then when it comes down it just goes bonk <laughs> wonderful just wonderful yeah so we're gonna get another thing in oh yeah we got the a little bub engineering there uh, a couple of things there's there's still a lot of work left to bolt this sucker down but it's getting there it's just getting there a lot of little details and it's uh, at least everything's installed on there now, but I am going to route the water in the back ends of the intake manifold. Unlike the way that this thing was routed, we it was routed up uh, from the bottom up to these, and then these guys go up to here, and then these go down to the exhaust manifolds. The problem is when you turn the engine off, everything drains down to this to this level and so the whole top of the engine has got air inside and it really oxidizes the heck out of everything so these guys are going to get blocked off water is going to come in the intake manifold here fill up the engine and when it's full it bypasses because the T T is right here and then it's going to run all the way up around here and go up into this guy so we'll see how that goes I think it's going to keep the heads a lot cooler that's the big thing with these Oldsmo bubbles is the heads run really hot and it's like I'm not surprised the guys that don't run the circulating pump so it's just because you can't do that it doesn't work you can't do it so um, we'll see how it goes